Hello, everybody. I think I'm almost ready to get started. Let's chat a little. So, oops. Oh, it opened up the Ocarina of Time randomizer thing. I was like, what did it even open? Okay. But anyway, from the standpoint of um, the playthrough itself, we got past the soft lock the other day. We only have a certain number of events left, and then we are done with the game. So I guess we'll pause the music and get going. Yeah, I'm not sure why that opened up, to be honest. I don't even remember clicking on that today. Maybe I was looking for Bizhawk version? I don't know what specifically led to that. Weird. Welcome, Murphy. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, I, I don't know if I'll ever play something like that. I was like, I, I'm not a fan of 64 Zelda. I'm really not sure why that popped up. I mean, I guess if I were to play one, it would probably be the first one over the second. He says, kind of sleepy, but plenty of work today. Mm. And let's do a quick, quick recap. We are 42 out of 68 events. We could probably get at least 12 of them in today. Our current skills are toss and double jump. Unfortunately, I don't remember how long we were using double jump. I want something known as sparky, sparky feet, which is quite ridiculous. I think I just need three uses of toss. I don't think I need it for the rest of the run. Yeah, I don't. But we'll count to three. Metroid Prime Rando. Mm. I was gonna say, Chris Grimm, who sometimes joins the chat, plays that quite often. I got body blocked hard by the random saplings. Chat, they're better than me. That reminds me. I don't think I checked produce. Oh. I mean, only some of them already. That's unfortunate. Goodbye, fishy fruit. I should probably feed the pet something. <laughs> it's kind of like the mags in PSO. I've been neglecting them. I should probably give them food at some point. Dot dot dot, maybe. See if he lets me get any seeds. Well, that's actually perfect. Why'd he give me those? I want something other than big, small, long. If I get anything other than that, I'll consider that a success. I'm making sure Cabadillo... Yeah, Cabadillo is the one that I want to feed it. Just makes the pet tankier. It's a good decoy. How many of those do we have? I don't want to feed it for melon. Oh, we got six of these? Oh, that's perfect. Then I don't have to- then I don't have to think about that at all. Oh, you can scroll in this menu. It's, it's finicky sometimes. Good to know. So I pressed it when I first entered the menu, but I guess there's like initial lag when it boots up. Doesn't buffer the input. Yeah, that'll make it basically magic and physical defense up and other resistances up. So in theory, it should make the pet basically unkillable because there is more HP than everything. So the more it survives boss attacks, the funnier it is. I believe at this point we just did Pulpata Harbor. 
So I believe before we place anything else, we have to go back to Lumina. We're, we're going to go interact with Gilbert at some point. Who we've neglected for like a third of the game at this point. Maybe half of the game. Rip Gilbert, I guess. Oh, that reminds me of Hoopweed. If you just want to talk in general about section IDs, we have some awkward pauses in Legend of Mana playthrough. If you want to make any comments, feel free. I I've been working on a document on the side, I guess, for people that accidentally came in for BSO. Ooh, interesting, the characters have. Go to the tavern. So yeah, I was looking through the price guide for the first time, like in depth, not just like I look at it briefly and close it. I was looking at like the high price items. I thought that was kind of interesting. There we go. This is what I was looking for. Where the heck is the lamp shop? Houses are all empty. Who built such a strange town? Man, it's not even funny. Siren song. Okay. Let's talk to each of the soldiers. Our much ship was sunk and some heard a strange voice. It was a mermaid's doing. Sirens are the ones known for sinking ships. I think Monique at the lamp shop might be one. Hmm. So that did tie in with, with what I thought happened earlier. I wasn't sure if she was supposed to be a mermaid or a siren, and I guess they're suspecting the same thing. Let's go back this way. The shopkeeper isn't here. Now we know for sure. Okay, so now, if we go back to Pol Potter Harbor, be able to interact with a few characters there. We saw Gilbert before, so we can surmise that maybe she went to go see Gilbert. Based off the previous quest. Let's go there now. Gotta return to Gilbert. There we go. There should be somebody here. I came to see my friend L, but I can't find her. Hey, there she is. The one that sunk our mate's ship. She's a siren, all right. It must be her. Excuse me. I presume you have the wrong person. Yes, I'm a siren, but I haven't been here for a while. A ship was sunk. What has happened here lately? Hey. What are you guys doing over there? Huh? What do you mean? We found the siren who sunk the ship. The siren. We found one already. You got one. So, what? I'm not getting the reward? That's right. Punishing one siren will do. Well, that sure ruined my day. So she wasn't there to speak to Gilbert, interestingly. I don't think this is the right way. No, this is not the right way. It's weird because we see them walk over here, but this is not where they actually went to. I feel like they should have exited through the northern exit if they wanted to convey they went to the beach.
whatever, not a big deal. Oh yeah, what's our new stat line like? Oh yeah, see. Eventually I should get rid of Dragon Bone. Oh, if we eat with a big wall of text, we'll read it in a moment. There's a boink over there. No one can reach her, so that'll be it. So the siren will wither and die. Looks like we will be hated by other sirens. Sirens are only good for singing their songs and sinking ships. We always win as long as we chase them to dry land. They better not... They better know not to go around sinking other ships. Oopie says, a general why prioritize section I do trust like this top value rare is lame. Striker. Uh... Top value units, high value rare is not requiring immense hit. Common rares with high potential value. Interesting. Yeah, I was trying to break it down. I could probably read off a list I was forming. Welcome, Charlie. Hope you're doing well. So we're gonna go to Medora Beach. Yeah, I started I started writing a very massive document for it. Because I, I wanted to get an idea of like what prices were. Because I saw a lot of some like very basic Ubers were like 200 plus PDs. Even like all zero, they still go for a lot. Well, thank you for popping by. I always appreciate it. We're finally gonna go to the left side of this place. They are really not wanting me to combo. That's kind of annoying. Viable Uber, Psycho One can go between common rares and medium value rares with limited usage. Yeah, I haven't, like, tiered it, per se. I was just gathering them in terms of, like, price. I haven't thought about, like, in terms of, like, viability. So right now I just group them roughly- Oh, there we go. Tiger Driver 91. That should be one, by the way. I need to do two more with Toss, I think. One moment. Giant Swing was hilarious. We might keep that for now. Short range major damage, sure. Yeah, it's just kind of one of those things where it's like you're trying to justify like the time spent versus like the value. Yeah, I saw Gurren and Shuren basically going for similar rates, even though people prefer to run Gurren. I thought was interesting. I mean, it makes sense. <laughs> Judging off the PDs, Heaven Striker was in its own tier. I think I was looking at, I think it was like, what, 40% hit Heaven Striker is like almost a thousand PDs or more. I was looking at that correctly. I'm kind of laughing at that. Please kill this enemy. That's all Tiger Driver does? That's kind of lame. At least making me swing him full screen. That's a lot funnier. Yeah, if you're around for a bit, once we take a small break... As I said before, I was just trying to gather items. I have not put them in a particular order. I was just thinking, like, what would be... Huntables, quote unquote. Yeah, let's get rid of Tiger Driver. That move kind of boring. I don't think I tried Metal Barrier yet. I think that's two. No, that has to be three. I was trying to keep track of how many times I used Toss. Let's get rid of that. I don't think we need it for the rest of the run. What should go in its place? I think my crouch is already there. Grapple, I think already at 30. I don't think I need to use that anymore. The Tiger Driver needed 28 uses of Fist. So I just need double jump, 
We already have evade. Oh, I need evade 15. Oh, never mind. Let me put evade back on. I don't think I did evade up to that high. No coincidence the quest of Chechel Laird RBR are known for powerful lame or HS hunts. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I was just looking at, like, prices, like, some of the heart of items. Because I was curious what people actually sell those for. Sorry for pausing. I had to remember what button I signed it to. Let's see how this move does. Okay. That's okay. It's at least AoE. You know, that did not take very long to get to where we had to go. Now the blink will move it out of the way. We ran into that last stream. Yeah, it's kind of one of those things where I, I don't know how I would categorize it if you're just looking for PDs. Like, I know how I would categorize it if I wanted to use it, but some of the other ones I'm not sure. This is surprising. So it was you whom the soldiers caught. Dot, dot, dots. Yes, I was the one who sank the ship. No, you just sang a song. They say our voices bring misfortune, but they don't have the right to say that. But if I don't sing, ships won't sink either. They say I could sing here, since it's away from the ships. Oh my, you sound like one of those soldiers. Let the ships sink. You've got to free yourself. <laughs> there you go, chat. Moral of the story. Just kill all the people. It's fine. Freedom matters more. It's my choice to stay here too, isn't it? You're always cooped up in that atelier of yours too. There are many soldiers around. Here inside, there's peace. Who cares about consequences exactly? Listen to me, L. I didn't say there was freedom outside. Freedom is inside your heart. You're imprisoning yourself. All we do is sing, and those stupid ships sink. I say, let them. I, I'm not sure what the moral of this story is meant to be. We're just doing what we were born to do. It's not fair. I know. But we're constantly being chased down by them. Is gaining freedom really worth all that trouble? I was born to be myself. That's my freedom. Angry Eye acquired. I won't let her out. It's too dangerous with all the soldiers. I can't let a friend face danger like that. Clemshi, please. That person can protect L for us. Yeah, right. This world is too many dangerous people. Lamshi, please listen to me. That person mastered the Dudbear language and sold my lamps for me. Good thing we did that earlier, by the way. That would have been really awkward. She dot dot dot. So what? You're so... You're so stubborn. Just don't get too much sun. I won't let you. I was staying in there. Jeez, but does it have to be so bright out here? Bink. There we go. Just bait the mermaid in and thinking we're leaving. I like how she says it's safe in here. Immediately boss music plays, chat. Chat, it's not safe in here. Oh, <laughs> uh, we're in danger. I would like to... Oh, I got... Did that one-shot me? Whoa! <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute, how much damage was that? Holy... 
GG, I lose. What level? Level 22 and it one shot me? My brain is exploding right now, chat. That is the most powerful enemy I have ever seen. I feel like I got hit by Miracle in Tower. And Faramir is also Star Destiny. I mean, I might not lose this. Funny enough, thanks to the defense up of the pet, I think I actually have another chance here. Holy. That was insane. That did so much damage. Oh, thanks. Wow, this is insane. Why does it one-shot me? I don't even have low... I don't even have bad armor. That's actually insane. Note to self, we are just staying away from that one on the right. It is not worth it. I, s I almost thought that hit me from there. I was going to lose my mind chat if that hit me. Alright, there we go. Much cleaner. Yeah, it doesn't look like I could stun lock the one on the right. I think I just got to uppercut it and make it go away from us. There is literally no point to fighting that thing. It does so much damage. Oh. And my combo too soon. Alright, we're out of there. Goodbye, Kevin. You're definitely dead. GG. Rip bird. Yeah, you know when Kevin has double our health and he still takes 90% damage? This boss is actually insane. Alright, we're gonna go for a stun loop here. Hell yeah, that was so cheesy. Love cheesy. Ooh, reverse controls. Awkward timing. Alright, we're gonna uppercut you away from us. I stay near Kevin. It should recharge him a little faster. I almost- Oh, that did hit me! Seriously? I was so far from him! Chat, what is the range? Can we have a conversation? Why did that hit me from there? Holy... Actually unfair. I was literally on the other side of the screen. So unfair. Wow, this boss sucks, chat. I think we're dead, unfortunately. Oh, wait, the pet actually dodged. Oh? The defense up mattered? Hell yeah, defense up mattered. I'm glad we did that, by the way. I legitimately think we would have game over without Cavadillo. I would just like to state that. Thank you, Cavadillo. We used you a few times in the playthrough, and that's all that mattered. Uh, let's go for loops here. We can take out a frustration on this ridiculous enemy. Get out of here. Please don't inverse my controls. So we need to make sure we, like, uppercut this thing hardcore away from us. We're just in big trouble. Of course. Alright, so it is, like, way over... No, 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 no. I'm in here. If I get hit from here, I'm calling tomfoolery. I thought that hit me. I did the real back animation. Alright, we're going for rapid cancels here, chat. Power swing. Power swing. Holy. Is the boss supposed to be this broken? I don't remember a boss doing more damage than Erwin. Oh, our, our bird buddy is so dead, by the way. I'm not gonna save him. GG, bird buddy. Oh, wait, he got saved? Oh, he got saved by the other one. Wow. Boss, boss could have insta-killed our buddy there. Up flight of the boss. Let's try to go for a longer combo here. Oh, there's another one of those. Seriously? I would like my controls to not be reversed. There we go. No! No, not the double reverse. 
please get me out of there. Yeah, Kevin's definitely getting hit. I don't want to get hit by that. Holy. Why does that thing hit like three quarters screen? That's actually insane. What's, what's it? Like, it's only level 22 as a reminder, chat. I think I'm like level 48 and it one shot me. Just put that in perspective. Like, actual insanity. I, I think they I think they might have overtuned this boss a little bit, chat. What do you think? Holy. <laughs> exactly. She's like, I feel safe here. Literal, literal thing. One shots end game character. Like, okay. That boss is just all sorts of nonsense. Hello, L. How are you doing? Hello. Now that the monster's gone, you're free to go out there. Thanks, but I don't want to. I'm such a coward. That's okay. You could be a coward. But from now on, you could go outside anytime you want. You could stay here and sing, too. You're free now. Thanks. Jeez, can't you sound a little happier than that? <laughs> it's like... Chat, I I remembered this boss was like a little more challenging than some of the other bosses. I didn't realize by challenging, I I in translated that to get one shot for no reason and perish. <laughs> like, granted, we did place that kind of late in the order of placement, but even then, like, I, I'm gonna double check our stats. Chat, we're wearing like the second highest equipment tier we have. I don't know what type of damage that counts as. If it's magic, our magic defense is amazing. Oh, we're only 22. Never mind. Oh, is it the pet that's higher? Just thinking of the pet. Never mind, chat. I thought we were in our low 40s. Disregard. I mean, we're still way over level compared to the boss. Don't get me wrong. Oof. Oh, we're finally getting to place Geo, and then I have instructions to not enter Geo. That makes sense. See, I've played I've played this game a few times before, and even when I look at the 100% route, I'm looking at it, and I'm like, yeah, Geo messes up like so many events. I don't know why they made it like that. So yeah, if we go to Geo, we're gonna start an event out of order, and that will lock us out of uh, Gilbert's Ark. I'm gonna make sure not to do that. So we're gonna make what we love to call a safety save. We're gonna make sure we're saving right now. Everything else is done properly. So we're gonna place two of the four remaining artifacts in the game. We have two- we're basically placing all the ones that we have. Which is nice. Ooh, ooh, how hard- Oh, wait a minute. How hard is this upcoming boss gonna be? I don't think I've ever done this boss this late. Hmm. Oh, boy. This is gonna be interesting. Let's see. Where do we have to place Geo? Geo is gonna be placed... Next to Jungle. I can also do the mini game at one point. I actually forget how to initiate it. It's like the shoulder buttons, I think. Do not go to Geo. And we have the green cane. So I can now place this here next to Bone Fortress. Technically, I could place one of the final ones, so we're only missing one artifact. Uh, 
Uh, so... Speaking of things we've been neglecting, we're gonna go pick up Lark from the Underworld. <laughs> we just, we just kind of did like a whole bunch of things. I honestly feel like this is probably the worst fleshed... I, I think this might be the worst quest line. I think it's the least fleshed out. We're not really ever given a strong reason to help him and we just kind of do it. But meanwhile, at least like with the Erwin side quest, we could side with a couple different people. Let's go search for dragons. Let's go. Into the forest. Oh boy. I guess the way to... I haven't really talked about this, chat, so let me talk about this. So, the way enemies work in this game is that they're associated with one or more elements as a strength and potentially... Or zero, 0 to 2 elements for strength and then 0 to 2 for weakness. Sorry to hear you lost your phone, mate. So, depending on how we set this up, we can make certain enemies really tough. It's kind of like ultra convoluted, I guess is the best way to put it. So I'm always curious if we have like three of everything in an area, if that makes it harder or easier, because it technically might demote some of the enemies. This is the territory of Vadis the White Dragon. There's something in this forest that throws off my senses. I'm gonna say, what do you mean? The one who wants to keep me away, you'll see. Concentrating Pinky got percent. You should lead me. And I'll worry about the details. It will be alright. The Dragon Princess. Let's go. You're right, I sense her sent from this direction. If I remember correctly, it's like almost all left until like halfway through. Uh, yeah, we're taking like 1% damage comparatively. Just a little easier than the last boss we fought, just a little bit. Oh, I was going for a real combo there. Yeah, another thing we don't really do in this playthrough because I'm busy learning techniques. But basically, uh, you might see me glow every now and then when I'm doing a combo. If I manage to land, I think it's somewhere between 12 and 15 hits in a row without ever dropping combo, I will perform like a super attack. It's very easy to do with spin, since you could do like a spin strike that hits everything near you and each enemy hit counts towards that limit. So maybe we'll do some fancy glove combos later. It's very easy with glove. Any weapon that multi-hits has an advantage on it for sure. Does giant swing hit more than one enemy? Let's find out. No. I was wondering if while swinging him around it did damage. It says me and my big brother played the first Secret of Mana. Nice, nice. We played a few of those on stream so far. We did, uh... I'm trying to think of its many names. Technically... Final Fantasy Adventure, which is the first one. Secret of Mana, then Trials of Mana, the remake. I'm assuming I just go left again. And then, this is pretty much the last one that I was thinking of doing in the Mana series. There are a lot more of them, I just don't think they're my kind of game. Yeah, contro two controller secret of Mana is a lot of fun. It is ultra drank in single player though, sadly. That's kind of a take or leave it game. But I love coordinating with other people to like do legitimate combos. 
Did he just steal all that XP? That sucks, actually. What level is he? Yeah, he does not need that XP. What the heck is that? Silk Spitter? Okay. I'm sorry, it was called a what? Did that say baked roach? Interesting, it did. Uh, so, so far we have not picked the wrong direction. Closing on Vitisa's lair. Let's go. I'll take his word for it. Get this item before we go further. Here if we do see spawn combos. Wait, I feel we're on the wrong path. Oh, I was doing so well. Damn chat, almost all from memory. So close. I think I got like the only last turn I can make wrong. That's so sad. Love the evasion move. I have trouble seeing the enemy through this. Thank you. <laughs> it's like, please move the enemy out from behind the tree. That is an unfortunate foreground object. We got Sparkly Feet. What a move name. Hmm. Short range major damage, okay. Let's see, what's up next on the unlock order? So at 51 uses, if we have 20 grapple, 6 bash, and 9 high jump. Hmm. I don't think I need double jump anymore. Let me get rid of that. Let's get more high jump in case I don't have it. Do high jump plus dash, and that should be good enough. Wow, I was off by one move. That's unfortunate. Lark. So you've finally come this far. Sierra, where is Vadis? Lark! Can you not see what Draconis is trying to do? He dot dot dots. He did not order you to slay the dragons for the sake of revenge. He's trying to snatch mana energy, the source of all power in the world. That I know. Fool, do you not see what would happen if Draconis returned to the surface? Enough, Seer. Lark? Draconis returns to the surface, then I, his knight, shall return as well. What are you saying? Please, Seer, do not interfere. I am a Dragoon. My duty is to protect order in the world, like my master, the Dragon. I cannot let anyone disrupt the order in the world, even if it is my brother. Dun dun dun. Stop, Sierra. My liege. A brother and sister must not shed the blood they share. Vidis, tell me where the monostone lies. Then you will not meet the same fate as the other two dragons. Lark! I see. The monostone is straight down that path. Good dragon. Go, Lark, and then see the error of your ways. I shall soon be free. Of course, so will Draconis. 
But I have a plan. Do not worry, Sierra. Your duty is fulfilled. You need not stay with me any longer. This is all I could give you. Lorimar Arm Iron. Okay. I think that's an improvement. Trey. It seems you have been dragged into this. There is no going back now. If Draconis is not stopped, the entire world will suffer at his hands. I know this may sound strange, but you mustn't turn your back on this. <laughs> I love our options are stay and none of my business. We'll stay. Thank you. Ray, I wish to ask a favor. Show me your powers. Translation, you two fight to the death. Oh, I hope this grabs her. Yeah, there we go. Got her, chat. Oh, he's also attacking? Oh, that's rude. Got her. Let's have no one shots. Yeah, unfortunately. Oh, well, thanks, game. I didn't know where you were targeting. That was kind of unfair. I thought it was going to go close, but apparently not. Oh, yeah, we destroyed her in hand to hand combat. Now we just need to recover some HP. Bloody Knuckles. Jerk. Don't you teleport away from me. I was beating you. There we go. Now we got a loop going. Damn right we stunned the boss. Cancels were on point today, chat. Oh, look at that extended combo. Got him. He's the. Oh, can we chuck him? Chuck him for the win? Oh, a sparkly feet. Not what I wanted, but maybe this will be funny. Oh, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> Take that, stupid dragon. You're way easier than the other boss. <laughs> GG. <laughs> that was that was a dominant performance, chat, compared to the Tropicalo. As I thought, your powers are excellent. He was just lifted in a dragon and just kicked it in the face. That's that's how you tell who's in charge. I want you to go after Lark. My leash. It will be all right, Sierra. You must save Lark and Trey. That was that was uh that was fine. We got hit by a kind of a cheesy, not sure where it was targeting attack. Since it didn't hit directly in front, but it hit in the middle. So when it went to dodge in the middle, that's where it got us. So I think we're about to finish the dragon arc. That's good. One more major arc out of the way. Although technically not needed to beat the game, as chat saw earlier. It is kind of funny that you start up all these things, like you're you're killing all these dragons. You don't even need to bother finishing that quest to beat the game. You're like, ah, yeah, just, you know, just went up a mountainside, killed the straw bird people, and, uh, yeah, decided it was time to go on. Had to be a dog. Okay. <laughs> We're like, ah, it's not important. Just some dragon trying to revive itself from the underworld and take over the world. Wait till tomorrow. It's fine. <laughs> Legend of Mana logic. So on the plus side, I do think the uh, the defense up actually did matter. So we can officially say it was worth it. Yeah, see, he's got better defense than we do now because he's been eating those. 
So he has 523 health to our 271. So he has better defense than us and double our health. Yeah, that seems fair. <laughs> if they kill this character, just, just call shenanigans, chat. I'm telling you. I mean, I guess I could feed the Chocobo more because it would be funny. But at this point, he's ready for the end of the game. I think he'd survive anything other than a magic attack at this point, and if the boss seizes it. Uh, let's see. I mean, if we have more Cavadillos, I want those for sure. Well, we got two more. Perfect. Actually, I don't think I need them for anything. Let's just have them eat all of them. Get a solid 1.5 for all defenses, and more defense up. It lowers his magic score, which I don't think matters at all. To be honest with you. Even if it lowered his magic defense, I don't think it really matters. He's gonna be hit by physical attacks more than anything else. Magic is usually interruptible, whereas physical attacks are just very common. I'd rather the pet just be unkillable. So yeah, let's just go to the underworld. I'm sure nothing terrible will happen to us. We only gave us. A dragon that everybody was scared of, all the mana stones in the world. I'm Sira, the Dragoon. I was ordered by my master Vidis to hunt down Lark. But I cannot navigate the vast underworld by myself. Also, chat, are you ready for... Are you ready for a fun maze? This might be one of the longest dungeons in the game. Where the man the number of mandatory rooms I have to check. I'm not sure if this or Leucemia is longer, but this one's kind of brutal. Just due to how many choices there are to make. She needs our help, chat. Will you come with me? Yes. Let us go. Let's see what she comes with. She has daggers. So she has the Laura Marl Iron Helm, which we just got that material earlier. So you can see it's so strong that it puts a 20 in the defenses. So, in theory, we could get a nice upgrade right now if we want to. I love the ability called Vortex of Death. Oh boy, who doesn't love mazes? I want you to try to keep track with me, chat, how many rooms I need to go into to clear. So starting here, chat, we're officially now in maze territory. Wait! Hello, the Chocobo, just doing Chocobo things. I sense evil. Quite noble, Trey. Draconis? Dragoon. So you've come to retrieve your brother. How fraternal. This is just a token of my thanks. Take it. How about thee? The Crimson Dragon. Damn, she murdered all of them, chat. She's better than us. Like we reel back, we're like, whoa. You cannot repel me with your trick strap bonus. I uh, start a maze chat. So we're in room number one. Two. So, so far, not a lot of choices. The beginning part's at least easy. Here's where we start doing some crazy things. We've chosen to go in one of four doors, by the way. Oh, we're holding all the bad gimmicks? Yeah, it did. And I think we skipped that door and go in this one? Oh my gosh, chat. I'm trying to remember where all these staircases are is horrible. Just want you to know, chat. I 
get rid of Sparkly Feet. It's okay. Honestly, I like Giant Swing just because it's funny chucking giant enemies around. Not that it's useful. Moonrock Tiara. That could be an upgrade for us. Technically it is. It makes me vulnerable to magic damage. Mm -hmm. Leave that off for now. Sorry, Sparkly Feet. You were okay. I just liked the giant swing more, even though it did less. Get back on Northern Lights for now, I guess. Oh no. I lost track of where it was. Uh, okay, never mind, we're good. <laughs> it's like, when I battles in between, I'm like, uh oh. At least I could do like a dive attack on the enemy, which is kind of nice. That's so satisfying. Chocobo, seal on XP as usual. So we've been to the face room before. Now we're going into all new territory. We're gonna ignore those doors. <laughs> Seriously, chat. This place is ridiculous. Look, look how many doors I'm going by, by the way. We don't want to go in any of those, by the way. Jeez. <sighs> oh, okay. Now we play the guessing game. Where is the... I'm looking for a face room. Nope. I mean, I'll take the item. I'm still looking for the face room. Once we do that, we're not too far from the end, at least. Does this lead to the face room? No. Earpiece. I don't think we've gotten that item before. That's actually a first. This is horrific. Where... Where is the place I need to go? I mean, I'll open all the items. Don't get me wrong, Chad. We're, we're playing the game of where is our exit. Consolation prizes. Oh, we need sulfur for something later. Well, need is a strong word. Holy jeez. Okay. The bottom of the underworld with you. Okay, chat. So I'm going to save us a lot of time. I'm using- keep in mind, this is the shortcut to go to where we need to go. Let's- let's not- Let's not try to figure out how to get here normally, chat. I think I skipped like 14 rooms or something. I'm like, listen, I'm not going back. Wait. I sense evil up ahead. Are you ready? Hell yeah. Alright, here we go. So yeah, I think that was over 18 rooms that we checked. And then we took one teleport to skip out like another six rooms minimum. What is that? At long last, after so many years, my wish is fulfilled. You served me well, Locke. Lord Draconis, I may now return to my original form. And flee this pathetic underworld. Not so fast, Draconis. Chocobo slowly walking to the cutscene and trolling. 
You'll have to get through us to see the surface. Lark! Sierra. Draconis is just using you. Can't you see it? I know. That is why I want you to... Let me take him. Lark, you can't be. That is right, Draconis. Like mana energy for you and you amplify it. When the time of return is at hand, you and I will fight. And only the victor shall rise again. That was our agreement. Fight me as we agreed. You are right, Lark. You are my dragoon and my dearest partner. You serve me well, so I shall fight you as I promised. But first, you shall have your reward. Burbla chat. Why, you? What have you done to Lark? Why, just a little reward. Brother always wanted to be a strong warrior like his sister. I merely granted him his wish. Stop, Draconis! Now fight, Lark. Beat your sister and demonstrate your strength. Lark! Well. Whoa. Lark! Here we go, chat. One of the strongest party members. Boss time. Suddenly centaur. Let's go. Ooh, he knocked me backwards. I wish she would stop hitting him. This actually making my combos harder. And we're gonna hide in the corner. Oh, he leaped to the... Oh, so unfortunate. Hide over here. So we're regenning a decent amount of HP. So even if I get hit, I'm not too scared here. Centaur has hops, indeed. Oh, that almost got me. Oh. I was gonna punch him to death. That wasn't too bad. Rip Lark chat. Ha! <laughs> dead already? Dead already indeed. Lark! Sis, I knew what I was doing was wrong. But I wanted to return to the world of the living. Return to you. Lark! I'm sorry. Lark, I will avenge you! Draconis, so this is how you will rise again. Trey! Here we go, chat. So this area scales. There's a couple areas, like, I think the worm area is one of them. But there's a couple areas of the game that scale differently than other ones. So they're meant to be much harder than other dungeons. Given that this is, like, only one building from completion, this is going to be a near max difficulty dungeon for the game. There's a couple of bosses that do that check as well. This is the one I remember 100% offhand. The underworld has transformed, chat. Are you now ready for another ridiculous area to go through? This is a pretty long quest. I think this might be the longest in the game, just sheerly due to the number of rooms you need to go through. Entrance of Flames. So this is Draconis's fortress? I thought it had been destroyed. I'm glad everyone is all right. Oh, wrong person speaking. Adis! This is my spirit for form. My soul is with you. You've been protecting us? Adis, I have failed. 
I couldn't save Lark. But mark my words, I will stop. I will stop Draconis. Sierra, wait. There is a powerful barrier here. Once you enter, it may be impossible to return. But Fidis, you must not face Draconis on your own, lest you be made into his servant, as was Lark. Lark is his servant? Draconis' weakness lies in his solitude. He leaves no one. He befriends no one. What should I do? All life is connected by ties that bind us together. That is your answer. The bonds of life bring caring and support, and will be of much help to you. Do remember those... Rem oh, do remember those words, Trey. I love how our choices are, the world will suffer if we do not stop Draconis, and there are no other options. He desires to subjugate all life in this world. Even the aloof dragons seek bonds with other life through their dragoons. Such is the truth of life, and the absolute law of the world. Sierra, Trey, I entrust you with saving the bonds of life. Put a stop to Draconis. Let us fight together, Trey. say of course he cannot return are you ready I'm gonna say I'm ready I entrust you with saving the bonds of life but it stopped a draconis oh boy chat here we go See, this area, I think, is supposed to be reminiscent of the Trials of Mana. Now that I've seen this in Trials of Mana, it looks very much like the same location. Like, this is, a uh... Was it the Darkness Palace? Where you fought the... Cat Boss. I believe this is a similar area. I'm not getting my cancels down. That's unfortunate. I would just like to point out we're only getting 40 money at a time. Crafting costs like 40k an item sometimes. Ridiculous. I might have gone too far. I did. I like these things though. Homeland Dragons, makes sense. Did I just whiff a charging punch? It's awkward. So worth a decent amount of XP. I think I gotta go to left here. <laughs> I like that we both did it nearly simultaneously, by the way. That, that was dedication, chat. Was that frame perfect? I just lined up with the AI like that. I swear, chat, that was really tight how close we did it together. Okay, so we went left. Go up the stairs here. These enemies are level 45, so these enemies are very high level compared to everything that we have. Oh, I didn't finish the combo properly. There we go. Now I finished it properly. Wow, he's actually in an infinite stun combo versus me. Get actually outplayed start to finish. 
Earth Splitter? Is that an axe? Could be a hammer. It's an axe. It's okay. Our, our fist is so much better than that, though. So we're gonna go up these set of stairs. Oh, I got rid of my AoEs. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, Northern Lights is okay. It doesn't even stun, so I'm not gonna miss it. Uh, which one was our AoE? Then Lightning Kick? This is Lightning Kick. Funny enough, I don't think it's Whirlwind Kick. Then this one. Let me decide if I want to swap out of my technique learning. So we should get cough drop soon. We've been doing a lot of high jump and bash. I'll leave it on this combo until we get this. Then I'll switch it over to back roll, back flip maybe? There we go, Chad. Is this area confusing enough yet? <laughs> so many 50-50s we have to take. Unfortunately, when I played this game for the first time, I always had the strategy guide. So I remember looking at these maps and going, what the... I remember those days, chat. Confirm. Yeah, there we go. That's the one I was thinking of. The fact that it also stuns is insane. Just free AoE, get off me. Gets me out of there in case I'm trying to dodge an attack. Stun. What a good move. So, despite the boss music chat, this is the mid-boss. Oh, the attack reset there was disgusting. I'm so happy I did that. How did that whiff? Game, please. Right, chat? That was the game please moment. Come on. How did that whiff? Bloody Knuckles, your hitbox is a little weird. Man, I even did like the cool combo reset where I did the power attack and then I canceled the power attack into a light attack. You're not normally supposed to be able to do. Yeah, when Giant Swing has more reach than Bloody Knuckle, there's a problem there. Yeah, there we go. There's that cancel. Oop, did it too late. He's actually getting stun looped. Holy. Can we talk about this? Like, this stun loop is real. Damn, chat, GG. <laughs> that was real. That was real, chat. <laughs> that boss, that mini boss got cheese so hard. We unlocked Cough Draw. But we didn't unlock the other abilities. So that tells me I probably need. Back roll. Oh, I don't, I probably don't have eaten flip kick. You're not gonna let me pause. 
want to swap my items. I'm going to get rid of Bash. We'll do Flip Kick Backflip. I don't think we played with that one at all, so that's probably why we haven't unlocked it. I mean, Flip Kick is really, really, really good. Yeah, that was like... So basically, I was doing like the equivalency of like three light attacks into power. Then I rapid canceled power attack to rechain it into the basic string. And then I would do... Uh, I would just repeat that, but I would do a lot of rapid cancels. I even did a couple of power attacks, canceled into power attacks. Which again, you're not supposed to be able to do, but we don't play by the rules, so we don't care about that. <laughs> Off drop is short range major damage. We'll see if it's better. So far, I still like chucking enemies more than the other abilities. Actually, sadly, I think I have to go back out the way that I came. Believe it or not. Cough drop is this button. Eh. I mean, if we're gonna have something, I'd rather it be giant swing. I just like how disrespectful it is. Yeah, I'm trying not to. So if I do like one, two, three, four. As long as I don't see the... I'm sorry, there's something called Wolf Spirit? What is Wolf Spirit? Why can't I search by item name or new items? Is that like a consumable or is that like an item? It looked like one word, so maybe it's an opponent? Not in there. So Wolf Spirit is... what exactly? Is it an armor? Armor. Interesting. That gives nine to... Magic defense. Is that better than what we're using? No. Damn, Dragon Bone just never going away, chat. <laughs> Can we talk about that? Alright, so we went basically back up to where we were. I think we're back in this room again. I gotta go through this way. That should be boss time. But it's not the boss we're looking for. We, we, there are a lot of mini bosses here. That's why I think this might be the longest quest in the game. Oh, you're so done. Did they really just knock them out of my combo? That is so rude. At least I stunned them. I get the cancel properly. Stop knocking them backwards. Okay, we leveled up a little bit. <laughs> I love the Chocobo moving slow and making the cutscene last longer. Chocobo actually trolling. Now we're gonna go through the right door. I was gonna say, is Chaffin following this maze? Did you call that a mini boss? I mean, the music said it's a mini boss. It didn't feel like a mini boss. Damn, lightning kick is so good. And it stunned them. Why is she using techniques full screen? I, I can fight like one sword at a time. Double sword is actually pretty annoying with fists. Let's see if I can kill this guy faster. I killed one of these guys. That's good. I think we're good.
Love that attack. Full throat slitter. Go up the zigzag we go. That single punch to build meter into lightning kick. Absolutely worth it. Ooh, we are getting axed. And combo. Black Elf? Is that a weapon? One-handed axe. It's actually not bad for a one-handed axe. 26. Not bad. I mean, it's not as good as the fist item that we got, but you know. Oh, jeez, chat. I'm losing track of where I'm at. I think I gotta go down through here. You gotta basically go back up to the floor that I was at before. Just barely missed. These item drops are terrible, so I really don't want to fight these enemies. Because money drops in this game are just garbage. I don't know how we're at the end of the game, we're getting like 40 money a battle. It literally costs like 4,000 to get a basic component. Not an item, a basic component. So they are hilariously terrible. I'm sorry, we got something called Doomhammer. Hold on. And it's so weak though. You can't call it Doomhammer and be weak. That's just, that's just disappointing. I feel like that's false advertising, chat. So we went down. Okay, there we go. It definitely does not deserve that name. We gotta go this way. We're back at the entrance again, but this time we should be able to go through these platforms, I think. Yeah, Doomhammer should have been endgame. Another mini boss time, chat. Here he comes. Hello, other centaur. The Noah. Suddenly sends her 2.0 indeed. Uh, <laughs> got Gatling gun feet? What is that? <laughs> Excuse me? Uh, no, that's not how centaurs work. Oh yeah, this time I can hit him to finally get powered up. There we go. Ridiculous. Keep it centaur. All right, we're gonna go over here. Let's not get suddenly centaured. What's it doing? All right, we saw that attack before, that's fine. I don't care about that attack. I think this boss is just done. You better teleport away. Yeah, it destroyed you. Welcome, Chris, hope you're doing well. We are in a marathon of a dungeon chat. We're still not done, by the way. Just, just by the way, um, we went through, I think, over 40 rooms and counting. Why is this not open? Did I did not do something correctly? Oh, no, no, no. Never mind. It's fine. Okay, I didn't sleep great. Sorry to hear that. Okay, chat, we're finally here. We're gonna do it. We're gonna reach this boss. We killed like three mini bosses. 
We had a real boss before that. Then we had that boss. Holy. Here we are, chat. This should be the boss room. Oh, one more enemy between us and the boss. You magic cast at me. Filthy mage. Get out of here. Pegasus helmet. Okay, come, I, I have to at least check that out. Is that an upgrade? That is actually really disappointingly terrible. Why is that so bad? Centaur hide? Oh no, that's an actual thing we could get. Wow, chat, we're in like an endgame dungeon. Why are we getting such bad downgrades still? Alright, now I think we're at the boss. Draconis! Waiting for the chocobo to walk slowly. Oh, he's fed up that time. <laughs> we still have to wait for him to peck around, though. The Dragoon, eh? I am the Dragoon Sierra. By order of my master, I have come to stop you. Do you oppose me as much as your master does? How noble. Come hither. Born to protect order, you deny the bonds of life. You are truly despicable. Your brother is mine. Both brother and sister shall become my nourishment. All the souls you have swallowed. Return to me, Jajara, Akravatar, and my brother, Lark. Prepare to die, Traconis! Here we go, chat. The real boss fight. Let's see how hard this is. We get special music. Become my sustenance. Big dragon chat. Uh, let's hopefully not get combo too badly. Oh, he took my meter. What a jerk. Oh, we're dodging some hits at least. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Close range, far range? Close range. Goodbye, Sierra. Ooh. Ooh. Oh boy. Three gens from HP. She got destroyed, chat. Come on, activate. We need the power up. There we go. Power up time. Ooh, this could be bad. Oh. Oh, that did big damage. I might be in trouble here. Oh, of course he comes towards me. Oh, I'm in trouble. I think I actually jumped the attack. I actually jumped the attach. We're good. Holy kickflip. Kickflip for the win. Dodge. <laughs> Get me out of here. Oh, I might die here. We'll see. Wow, they actually killed Kevin. There we go. Squeezed out that victory. Get me out of here. What is this crown dragon of wings? Well, the crimson dragon doesn't play by the rules. I am so happy we kick flipped over an attack chat. It actually saved us. That would have killed me for sure. Oh. I don't want that XP though. Flips of thunder acquired. 
I mean, Flip Kick was the MVP there. That got me out of the very bad spot. So up next, we need 26 Scrapple, 16 Lunge, 15 Evade, but I'm pretty sure we have it. I could put it back on Lunge if I'm not really sure, but we should have it. I know, what a move name. We're doing pretty good at unlocking things, by the way. So that was somewhere between 55 and 60 uses. So we should be getting another one soon. Lark! The castle's collapsing, hurry! Yeah, just, just a small difficulty jump in this session, right, chat? We had Crimson Dragon that three shots me. We had Chapacala, which literally one shots. We had the ridiculous dungeon to go through. Holy, get me out of here. Sadly, we cannot revisit this place. Lark! Do not touch him. Vendice, why? It's the curse of Draconis' blood. For a thousand years from now, I will be trapped in the underworld with Draconis. If you touch him, you too will be cursed, and I will not be able to stay away from the underworld. Oh, and will not be able to. I won't. How terrible! Such is the law of Dragoon. I will not have you carry everything. No, Sierra. This is proof of my sin. I must carry the burden. Lark! I do not need a thousand years to break the Dragoon's, Dragon's curse, and I'm used to the underworld. So you must return to the forest. You haven't changed. You'd always make me worry, but never acknowledge it. Dot, dot, dots. It's okay, Lark. Go see you next time. Sierra. And then after that. Yeah, we just kind of murdered all those people, by the way. I guess it's good we brought them back, question mark. The Guardians of Order. The Blue Dragon and the Bone Dragon have risen again. And so, the stolen mana energy was safely returned to the Earth. Why does it feel like reviving the Bone Dragon is the bad, the bad ending? I feel like we messed up there. You know the brother and sister, torn apart by constant warfare. And then... Finally reunited. There we go, chat. End of story. Crimson Dragon, the end. We have completed the dragon arc. There is no more to that, to my knowledge. So we're going to place the second to last artifact in the game. Apparently we're still avoiding Geo, which I find hilarious. I guess the game is making sure we really get all the side content out of the way before we accidentally uh, lock out story paths in Geo. There is a side thing we could do once we do go there. Drachnois, he says. So if you remember all the little academy students that we met in some of the prior quests, they actually all have names. I think they're named, they're either after, they're named after minerals or vegetables, I don't remember. But if we bring Butter Lisa, we can have conversations with them. But we'll probably do that when we finally do decide to go to Geo. 
And remind me, chat, that if I don't have them when we finally go there to go talk to random people with them. Since they will acknowledge those characters in Geo. Right now, I don't need them, though. I would just like to say, though, Chocobo tanked those hits like a pro. <laughs> Chocobo was such big bait for the boss, it was kind of unreal how useful that was. I could get rid of the XP splitter, but I find it more funny that the pet is like an ungodly tank. Just just taking like super after super to the face and just basically walking it off. Long seed, not looking forward to that. Round seed's good. We'll do double round seed. And we'll do... Double spiny? Okay. Then what we're gonna do, we're gonna go put the cabadillo in the food box, because I want the pet to be more unkillable. I mean, it seemed to last a pretty long time. It got hit by like five attacks before it died. That means normal encounters, it is essentially invincible right now. Like, the strongest boss in the game, Equivalency, only did like 20% to this thing's ridiculous health bar. The downside is it's falling kind of far behind in terms of damage. But at this point, I don't really care about damage, so we'll do at least one Cabadillo. Uh, let me check to see if these other ones are even worth taking. And I could pump the, the creature's damage, don't get me wrong. Hmm... I don't remember if Peach Puppy was good. There is one that I did like. Yes. This one was fine. And what do I want as the final one? Is Apricot any good? Defense and Calm. Yeah, it's probably okay. Those four other monsters, totally unloved. There's only Kevin Chan. Yeah, we went through the, what I presume is the Trials of Mana reference dungeon. Cleared it. And I think we're about to go to another reference to that game, actually. So you can see we have one, one thing still not placed, by the way, chat. Casually. I think it needs to go here. It's the only place that makes sense. I'm just double checking though. Yes. Yes, it is. Man, this is really far from our house. So I think I mentioned before, but the order in which you place them in the distance from the house determines difficulty of an area. This is pretty far from the house. If we place this really late, this will be interesting. So if you just want like a max challenge thing. You would put the house in the corner and just build, like, all the way over here. <laughs> you won't get 100% of the events, but it is really funny. I always like thematically putting the lake near the beach and the and Buccaneer. Because I feel like the pirate ship has to be close to the lake, and then they would potentially go by the beach to go there. So I like from, like, a thematic standpoint, the water areas are all really close to each other. And this one doesn't really matter where that one goes. We're finally on the pirate ship after ignoring it for basically forever. about no nothing no more. Hmm. Yeah, that's correct. Ain't nothing gonna beat the man of the sea. I'm SS Buccaneer Steersman, Ram Tika. Which direction do you want to go? Hmm. 
Uh, this is always fun trying to find it. We're gonna go south east east, and this will activate a specific quest. Ain't it great? It's making me feel philosophical about life. Oh man, the wind stopped. Quiet sea. That wind, the ship can't move. Go fish or something. Sure. Let's go back outside. So, Chan, it took us all of two minutes to get us stuck. There's no wind, and it'd be looking good for fishing. I think I have to talk to you. So, we should fish something up. Oh, I got a bottle here. The cap's really tight. There we go. Penguin trying to open it. Question marks everywhere, chat. <laughs> like the Chocobo just looking so unimpressed. What a beautiful ship. I like it. I could go here quite yet. I think I have to talk to the captain first. Let's get to know where the ghost is. Ah! So he basically just destroyed the whole ship already. I'm gonna become a real dandy man of the sea like our captain. And you gotta stop saying those stupid jokes of yours. I stop saying jokes. You become dandy? You could try not to say your jokes. But it'll be. But I bet it. But I bet it. It's impossible. Talk to the captain more specifically. The ghost's got to be put back into the bottle and returned to the sea. Guess you got to find that bottle first. Okay. Now we got to figure out where the bottle went. Let's go down into our ship. We're looking for a penguin in hiding, if I remember correctly. Either down the stairs or to the left here. No, this doesn't feel right. Might be further down. There we go. Don't come this way, leave me alone! Tusk is calling, ghost is gone. And then the option, pretty girls here. And yes, chat, that is the actual option we need to select. Pretty girl! Is back from the beach, maybe? I'm a ghost! I'm a ghost, indeed. Here you go. Here's the bottle that the ghost came from. It's actually impressive to roll upstairs while in a barrel. Gotta give the penguin that, chat. That's dedication. This way, hurry! Well, chat, time to punch a ghost. That's how we solve all of life's problems in Legend of Mana. It's been a while since we heard this boss theme. So I think this is the same ghost that's in Trials of Mana? Oh, Gova. I got paralyzed there. That's super bad. Uh, am I gonna recover from this status ailment? Jeez.
Why is the bird constantly hitting him out of my combo? This boss is annoying to hit. How? How did he get hit by that? That's gonna reach. Yeah, and he went away from me. That sucks. I'm gonna lunge strike him there. Okay, this is a terrible matchup with Fist. I just miss him like every other strike. Pretty bad. You see that? Like, I'm, I can't combo him properly. That's awkward. Oh, wait. Oh, there's like a magic pixel I can stand on. Okay. What is that? Of course. Poor Choco Buddy. Probably about to die here. There we go. I mean, at least the boss is very easy, because the game thought we were going to go here way earlier, by the way. Let's rack some damage. Oh, why did the boss move? He's not even trying to fight us, he's just trolling at this point. hit, which would have stopped this combo. Damn. That special is such a wind-up. You gotta predict, like, four seconds in the future. Fortunate. At least uppercut and roll kick seems to work okay on the boss. Great punish. Dunked. So easy boss, just very tanky. Like that Choco Buddy at 40% almost has more health than we do. Huh? This. Please, please become. Seriously? Wait, he went in the only spot he can't hit me? Oh, Choco Buddy is actually making this boss battle take forever. Please stop getting hit by that attack. This boss fight would have actually been over, legitimately, right now. It would have been done. There we go. Trying to cancel into the uppercut with the rapid movements. There we go. We'll see what Flips the Thunder look like in a moment and switch our skills around. Choco Buddy betrayed us with his tankiness. Fist of the Norse star? Chat. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder what that is supposed to be a reference to. Very subtle there. So we got that for... 16 lunge, 26 grapple, 15 evade. Well done. Now that's a real man of the sea. Here. It ain't much, but take this. Do you give us a crab? How do you give us a crab? Altina Alloy. Oh my, uh... Uh, Moshinderu? Something like that. He is indeed already dead. Oops. We can see our map, sort of. 
Uh, I forgot to do this on the way back. Let's go pick up stuff from the orchard. I guess he just says crab buddy. Even though we just went on a crab massacre earlier. <laughs> just, just PS by the way, we definitely murdered a lot of crabs to get here. So far, we haven't seen why we did that, but we did do that. It, that is an event that has happened in the game. Ooh, Garlic Crown. I don't think we've gotten Garlic Crown yet. Definitely seen Dice Berry before. Berry Bomb we have before as well. You could grab you one to play your brothers and sisters, maybe. The Apricot's fine. I just think I like Cherry Bomb more because it's HP. And the Abadillo is so good at making you tanky. I could go for the rare food, which gives bonuses to every stat. Technically, if I want to have like a perfect monster, I just I level once, go back, level again, do it again and again. I could get like 50 to something to all their defenses. That would make them basically invincible. Not to mention they'd have a bonus in everything. Please pick up the apricot. There we go. Okay. Put some seeds here. Flat seed, crooked seed, flat seed, big seed. Oh, don't want big seed. Right, so let's do crooked plus oblong. Let's do a little mix and match so we can see different varieties. Show them off on stream, I guess. And we'll do flat plus. Okay. We're gonna go save the event. We're making progress, John. Once I get inside the house, I'm gonna change our equipment, get the event out of the way, then save. We do need a partner for this upcoming quest, but I guess we could technically pick anything. Partner. Probably just bring Bud or something. Technically, we haven't seen Lisa. I guess I should show Lisa, I guess. Even though I think she's just strictly worse than Bud. Let's get this out of the way. We don't need this anymore. We have officially, we only need to do 37 more combats with this and we learn everything. The question is, what do I think I need? So I could take Bash, which we should already be at 6 with. So I could do 4 more of Bash. Should be at the top of the list somewhere. Then I could do Lunch. Which Lunch should already be at 16, so I only need basically 4 more of each. And then we'll leave it on Retreat. And then maybe back roll. I have a long time to fix it if I don't have it. Because we have to do 30 battles and at most I need 10 more. Although I don't think we've used Moon Salt at all. Crouch. Crouch I think we also have the bonuses for already. I think the problem with this game is like it likes to hide what gives the bonuses. So I don't have like a clear indicator with where I'm at. I'm assuming I have over 22 in Crouch. So to get the final ability, we'll just rotate. If I feel like we're not getting it, I'll just rotate it. Oh, speaking of which, I forgot to actually change something before saving. Uh, get rid of Cough Drop. And a s oops. We're gonna go... This is the North Star. And flips of thunder. Those abilities just sound ridiculous. Although giant swing is very amusing to just use on a big boss. There's something satisfying about just whirling like a screen-sized monster and then dunking on them. Nothing very satisfying about that. Oh, 
Oops, I forgot to get a partner. I mean, technically I could go back and get Niccolo or Sierra, but I might as well just do a partner we haven't really used at all. I don't really like the girl as much. I feel like her weapon's a bit weaker, and she's reliant on magic, and magic in this game is very... Uh... Like, in theory, you could focus on it, but I don't see why you would. Let's take her. So we're going to go back to the mine. Because again, the game thought we'd place those two around the same point in time. <laughs> to give you an idea, chat, we placed the mines, like, within our first six. We placed that one dead last, basically. So, oops, delayed this event by quite a bit. So we're gonna avoid Geo as long as possible. Question, how many events are we at? 46? Not bad. Let's try to get six more. And I think we're in a good spot. This ain't good. Somebody's a coming. Don't worry, everything will be a okay. They don't have their dog lord. The diggers ain't no threat to us. Both land and sea will be ours. Let's go. A woo goes the dog. Dub dub chant. Was that his gracious this putty crying for help? Dub. And those penguins that just passed us made off with his graciousness. Dub. He'll pay for this. Where's putty? You there. You're somewhat responsible for this too. Go find his graciousness, Lord Putty. Dub chat. Dubba. Oh wow, look how easy they are, chat. I'm two shotting them. Oh no. So sad. That's how you know we've come a long way, chat. They're getting one touch by fists, more or less. So we basically just gotta go back here and then go back to the ship. On the plus side, combat should be pretty fast through here. So this is testing my memory from the beginning of the game. How much do I remember leaving at this area? Should be a save statue here, right? It was right in the middle. Yeah, there we go. There's no- yeah, there is a safe statue there normally. Mm, go across the bridge. I was gonna say, just Chad remember going through this area? Remember these moles? These poor, helpless, defenseless moles against our onslaught. Yeah, that seems fair. I like think they actually got stuck for a second there. Believe it or not, we're already back at the entrance. Look at that chat. I remembered from like a month ago to get through here. Some dungeons are a little easier than others to remember. That, that other dungeon we were in, I'm happy I only messed up the path like once. I remember getting lost in there a lot the first time I played the game. So we're gonna ignore Pokiel's room. And we're out of here. Nice and simple. And now we have to find the dog lord thing that they captured. Let's see here. 
Where is it? Downstairs somewhere. We'd be penguins, but we could be turned in human. There we go. I'm assuming it's just on the main deck that I almost went to before. Oh, there's actually enemies here? I did not remember that. There's her using some spells that did like literally no damage. Yeah, that's the downside to her. She does like literally nothing to the enemies. The time it takes to charge the spell is not worth it. And it interrupts combos. That's why I don't usually use her, sadly. Just magic is kind of whack in this game. Master a special technique power combo. Stargazer, I'm assuming, is a helmet. It's not. Is it a weapon? A 42 damage spear? Well, I mean, I think I know what I'm using later. Chad, I think I know what I'm beating the game with later. <laughs> just DS, by the way. You know, just... Just random, random fish gives me a good upgrade. That's fine. That means we've now done 71 battles officially. So 29 battles to complete everything. So at this point, I think I just can put it on... Let's see. Crouch. And maybe toss. If we don't have it, I'll switch it to high jump grapple. The chat will have to help me count. We, we need 11 battles. And we're almost done with unlocking something. So I think by the end of the game, we'll learn two entire weapon sets, which is kind of neat. I still want to see what these other abilities are, but we haven't been in enough encounters, sadly. Power combo, short range major damage, sure. There we go. Easy enough to find. Now I think we just gotta go back to the captain. I think it's just up this way. Oh, I could use the ability here. Flips the thunder. Let's see what it does. Okay. Kinda neat. I like that more than the simple dong. It's not my favorite, but at least I got to see what it was. That fish face. Honestly, I might just fight here again real quick. An easy fight reset. Just to see our moves. And we'll move on. I haven't seen Fist in the North Star. And it powers up. Okay, so it's like a different version of Bloody Knuckle. I might leave that one on. Level the pet, because life is fair. Poor fish face. Got true spear. So I guess because we leveled the enemy so much, we finally got the upgraded gear there. So that's kind of nice. Yeah, that 42 spear is a big improvement over what we're using currently. Let's get the last ability out of the way. Idea what was going on there. But it seemed to hit people, so I guess that was fine. I mean, I kind of like suplexing people. So I'll keep a suplex. Then we'll do our combo here. And then for chat, I will put on Giant Swing. Is it optimal? No. Is it funny? Yes. 
we're just gonna retreat all the way out here. We're gonna go back to the captain. You should just let us off, and then we should be done. Well, not done done, because technically we have to find where Putty went. Unfortunately, we placed the things in a way that makes sense as to where it is, as opposed to what you could do normally. I'm Captain Tusk, leader of them pirate penguins. How do you like the ship? Uh-oh, somebody tried posting a link. So I said the ship was not a beauty, so I got booted off. Almost always when somebody tries to send a link first, it's a spam bot. It's been really good at catching them lately. And we're gonna go to Palpata Harbor, I think? Yeah. Five more events after that, that should be fun. I think we're making good progress so far. Rough goes putty. Dub. His graciousness. Dub bub! Dub bub 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 dub! Dub! dub. Rawr! At last, Dunfairs, you may cry out. Don't hold back, be honest. Show your true feelings. Hey, Dub. Where's Putty? <laughs> that is indeed a thing that has happened. That's the best way to summarize that. Anyway, we'll never mention that ever again. Right, chat? Irrelevant. We're just walking through the final dungeon on our way home. Like, we're like, ah, we could go deal with the Mana Goddess, but that's nah, fine. We gotta, we gotta do dump bear things for some reason. But yeah, I think we're on track for 100%ing. Well, like, we'll say 100% and, 100 and a star, because we also have the bonus content we witnessed earlier. Well, goodbye. Don't break down without me. I mean, if chat wants me to put Doug Bear commands in, I could make it respond to you in, in the many phrases. We'll see if chat remembers how to respond back to them. That'll be the real test. Hmm, looks like we're coming up to a semi-long quest, unfortunately. Hard cactus. Yeah, I'll consider that potentially. finish at around the 20 hour mark if I had to guess with 100% we could have beaten the game like four hours ago easily even with doing the story well like three and a half so here we're just going through all the bonus content quote unquote now we're gonna return to the white forest now that the dragon quest is out of the way we should be able to do something there. I'm purposely not going back to one of the towns to avoid something, although I'm not sure if it's... It might be just due to the fact that I imported it here. It might not work. I didn't see a quest start when we went into Polpata Harbor, which I think should have happened when we were there earlier. Maybe the other quest overrode it. I'm not sure.
It's just one item. We we saw the ones that I wanted to get, which was Chocobo and the uh, bonus boss with extra dialogue. Oh wait, listen up. Today is very special. So, Mr. Fuddy Duddy, what should we catch today, huh? I'm not Mr. Fuddy Duddy. My name's Sotherby. I would like you two to catch Willipies. Willipies are most rare in the board. I forgot how to say that word. Borgies? Borgies, madam, is crazy for them. Duh. What are these Lilipies like? They're small, pink, and wound. Bourgeois. Thank you. There's a pea eater, bird's nest, on their heads. So, like, what the heck is that, huh? The mana goddess makes strange things. She must have a sense of humor. Uh, how much you going to pay for them, huh? Today I shall purchase them for 1,000 wooker each. So that means... Four, uh... Five and thirty. Uh, how many we have to catch to repay our debt? Uh... Just hand over as many as you could get. Then, da 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 da! The one who brings in the most will be an exec executive in the Quisty Group. Jeez, the goddess sure does make some annoying creatures. Big Rowan Peter Birds, uh. What was it? Uh. Uh. You should just go gather some pebbles or something. Damn, chat. Catching lilipies. Are you saying I'm dumb? The search for lilipies too. You'll get two thousand, a thousand wooker each. Meanwhile, we're at like twenty thousand. Okay. Let's go this way. Basically, we gotta meet up with both of them and convince them to work with each other, sort of like the other time we talked with them. There we go. Why you pest? Get out of the mo get out of my way. Oh. I believe I was outrun by that little why does he keep walking into me? Stop that. Uh, I think I gotta go here. This one's for chat. Dunk. Bonk. Oh no, I'm in the infinite. It's like some generation one Pokemon shenanigans. And I'm gonna meet acquired. Here's the Reverend, who barely ever does anything in any of the quests. Found the legendary village of the Lilipede. But they will not let me in. I think there's a Lilipede who's in trouble in the forest. How about helping them? Okay. So basically, we're gonna slowly kind of make like a like a C-shape in the dungeon. We gotta talk to a couple NPCs that are above us, and then we're gonna wrap around gradually to the bottom right, where I think they are. A lot of XP. 
And Hobgoblins are just always worth fighting. Comparatively, we get like 3 XP for these things. Kokobo went in chat, that was brutal. Uh, let's see what power combo looks like again. Brain dumb. Care about that. Blah. And away it goes. Now we gotta go talk to the other member and come back. Mushroom. There we go. So I guess if it's all one word, it's always equipment. I guess that's how that works. Like if there's two words, but one's capitalized. Oh, hey you, get out of my way. Uh-oh. You got away. All because of you. Yeah, we're basically just interacting with any barrels that we find, and then we'll sweep around. I put lightning kick back on, just because I do want some AoE clear. So far, nothing has really topped that since we acquired it, and it's like one of the first skills we got. Okay, let's swap out this. Our combo's okay, I want lightning kick back in. Uh, how many crouch and high jump do I think I need? Is there a way I can prove how many that I have? Without thinking too hard. The last, last time we needed crouch... Would have been on spear, right? So we would have had crouch 20 already. So I think at this point we don't need crouch anymore. So no matter what, we have all the requirements. We need high jump and or toss. I can equip both. In case I'm not convinced that I have the right ones. And then we'll say in 10, I'll swap out since I should have enough no matter what here. The crouch is done. Don't need that. I don't think I need grapple either. Pretty sure we put it in for over 30 at this point. We'll say that's one. Wah. Wah indeed, chat. Now we can start heading down a little bit. Not on the right button. That's fine. I'll remember that for later. Wow, the fact that that almost killed. That's what I'm talking about. Goodbye. Gravity drop unlocked. Okay, that's a good sign. But we don't have that many techniques left in the game, by the way. Gravity Drop means we only have 18 more before we have Earthquake, which is the final ability. Silver Crane and Black Elk. So Silver Crane's probably also the weapon. Another... Oh, see, that's a good Hand Axe. It doesn't have any special bonuses, but it's as strong as the Fist, which is good enough. 
So we'll say nine more, and then I'll switch it over. Its ability to hit multiple enemies is so good. Let's level up. Hmm. Don't think I did something right. Something did not go according to plan. Chat, let's back up. Did I forget to talk to somebody? I don't think so. Go backwards. But I've taken the wrong entrance. We should have seen a cutscene. So either I went the wrong way or I forgot to talk to somebody before. Which would suck if I forgot to talk to somebody because this dungeon's kind of weird. Ooh. Our super meter there kind of sucks. Goodbye, mushroom equivalency. On the plus side, we have less than 18 combats until we max it, so I think we're gonna do eight more with these sets. See, yeah, I was here. Oh, there's more than one lower path. Okay. I was gonna say, I feel like we should have hit the cutscene. There we go. This feels right. I know we eventually have to go to the right, but if we didn't like immediately hit a cutscene, I'm like, that's not correct. Baked roach is quite an item name. Wait, does that mean I can jump cancel with this, or does that not work with this? Let's find out. No, it doesn't look like it can cancel. Welcome back, Nate. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, he's going in and murdering the Chocobo. Jeez. Oh, We're gonna say that's four. I need six more, and then I'm gonna swap out. We should get the other one guaranteed. There we go. This is it. The little of village is up ahead. Get the whole bunch and I'll be an exec before you know it. But you know what? I'm gonna let you have them. We ain't alike, but we're alike. It don't matter to me no more. What should we do now, Hampson? Pirates. Diggers, anything. I'm gonna start over to create my own legend of Hampson. Let you to Hampson, there we go. Alright, that's awesome. I'm gonna have my own legend of Skippy. Mama, I'm sorry. I'm gonna give it a fresh start. We're running away from death. Might track us down. I don't wanna run with a slowpoke like you. How can I hang around with a guy with two clicks for arms? Fine. This might be it, Hamson. This is it, Skippy. Okay. We'll just ignore that. We don't care about that. <laughs> Alright, chat. Eh, friendship over. Little Ify Colony. Wah. 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 I always thought Lilifees were only a legend. Ephines once researched them, but he was the only one to do so. He said they are the descendants of Noella's dolls. With clay and thread, they crafted more of their own kind. I can speak a little Lilipean from all my years studying them. One with the bird on its head. Watch that one. 
my way. Wow, Chad. You gotta, gotta just keep talking to them. Oops, I didn't mean to re-talk to him. I got trolled. Ah, oh, yes. This is tired from all the running around. Oh yes. Say they welcome you. Oh yes. They said they're sleepy and want to be left alone. I'll translate that one for some reason. This is back, is itchy. They're hard to see. This it says that when he closes his eyes, he sees a green wiggly. Okay. I doesn't want to translate that one. Why does he not want to translate that one? There we go. Seems this one is the village elder. Wow. Ah, uh, yes. What? The mountain to the north. Near the lake? Somewhere in the forest? Oh, the bird's nodding its head. Wow. Fountain of youth. Chocobo, meanwhile, just freaking out in the cutscene. Something wonderful. A terrible monster. There's a terrible monster, so... Well, stay away. Why not have a look? Go kill it? The Brit. Brent's gonna nod its head. There you go. Oh! Says there's a monster in the forest and he wants you to kill it. Well, chat. Says he will guide you. A great reward. <laughs> no. You understand us, do you not? There we go. Well, time to go kill the great monster. Oh, must be purged the say at the bird. Hello, Mantis Ant. We meet again. That's a face. Wait, that didn't hit him? How did that not hit him? Wow, boss is actually cheating? Hello? Watch that. Oh, I want nothing to do with that. Oh, I didn't cancel that properly. That's unfortunate. We're doing well. Oh, the bird moved him. No, my combo. Birds trolling. I had him in a good combo. I even stunned him. I don't want to be near that at all. What is that? Oh, thank you. Please hit him this time. There we go. GG. That damage difference with the power up is insane. Holy. That's unfair. It's like double damage chat. The by Mantis and. Wow, chat. The Elder is very thankful for all you've done. Or more iron. Okay. Hmm. It must be walking around for every West Will it be? 
imagine Lilipi's the end. I guess they got away, question mark? I actually don't remember if that's the last quest in their timeline thing. They might have just split up and said goodbye. It's crazy to me how much we've played the game, and we still have not done anything involving Geo. Like, the quest guide is making sure we never go to that place, which I find hilarious. And we'll do at least four more. It's like, it's like, no, 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 you don't understand. You really don't want to go there until everything else is done. Which is very annoying if you go in there blind and you accidentally do a quest you don't want to complete. So, I don't remember. We might have one more Gilbert quest to do. But we're, we seem to be getting rid of everything else that does not involve Geo. Even though we placed Geo. So now that the White Forest is out of the way, and we defeated the dragon, it looks like they just want us to focus on those. So now, for the first time in the playthrough, we will actually have to go to the church in Domina. We technically visited it earlier, but we didn't need to go there for any reason. Now, fortunately, these events should be, like, way, way quicker than the other ones. The other one was just, like, a marathon and room memorization and hoping that you either have the map or have great patience and remembering where all those stupid staircases lead. Now declare this place the above ground chapter of the diggers. I took over the abandoned building to put it to, into use. Need more manpower for the expedition to White Forest. As soon as we secure some capable men, we'll start. Salvation through labor! Oh, they're body blocking me. That's unfortunate. Arf. It's kind of weird that that character has had more quests than some of the other named characters. So, and all they really say is Arf. They're officially more plot relevant than some of the other people we've talked to. Should start the event now. Capella, I really don't care to live anymore. Well, that took a turn. Oh, uh, stop saying that. The Shadows will take you again. Oh, I hope not. I don't like the Shadows. I like having fun. But fun doesn't last forever. After it's gone, I feel empty. <laughs> like I don't exist anymore. There you go, chat. Existential Crisis and Legend of Mana. Well, oh, come on. It'll be boring to have fun all the time. Feel whatever you feel, like sadness and loneliness. I know, but what I really want to feel is that someone is feeling happy somewhere. <laughs> well, I'm happy, because I'm not thinking about anything difficult like you are. Oh, look at that. Blue Donna with the oh dear. Damn. Blue Donna on point. All I want to do is to be able to help someone. But he didn't actually copy- he didn't quite copy you. He even put the triple dots. That's how you know he didn't copy it. Blue Donna's on top of it. He just knew. To make that someone happy. That's all I want. Dub. Oh no, Diddle! I keep forgetting he's in like that little chariot thing. That's not his whole body. Diddle kidnapped. Diddle, you're gone again! Away we go. 
This is the Reaper's power. He's not like Fettel. Yeah, he was separated once when we went to the underground, and it weirded me out then too. <laughs> when he allegedly escaped, he he was not in his little like music player chariot thing, whatever you want to call it. I gotta go back to the White Forest. So fortunately, this one, we don't have to go very far. And all of our directions are left. There we go. Knocked him out. We're taking him out, chat. I think we said we're on four, so this should be five. I'll switch it into the final skill for Fist. And we'll officially be done with this, and we can learn from another weapon. Or go back to Spear. Although I kind of want to use Spear to beat the game. These other quests, we can do anything with them, it doesn't matter. We'll go back to our true nature. We're ready to fight the final boss. Needles. Bonk, bonk. I don't know why we're hitting them, to be honest. I'm just kind of doing it. Oh, this should be a almost one shot. Nice. See, that right there is so good. So happy we have that move. That was six. This will be seven. Save our meter for the next fight. Bonk. Oh, one of them was not knocked out. That sucks. So that's why you gotta knock them out. That's annoying. How far back is this going to send us? Alright, so we do have to do it kind of quickly or they wake up. So that's why I got taken back last time. Listen up. Keep digging until there's nothing left. No one can stop us here. Make everything into one big hole. So Diddle can make any monster fall asleep. Dub. Diddle, are you all right? Capella, what did you come here for? I'm looking for you, Diddle. Not hurt? No, I'm not hurt. I'm only helping these people here. Who are you helping out? The diggers. What? Don't you know they're... They're real baddies? Who goes there? Oh no, he saw me. They are not bad people, Capella. That is true. No one is really bad in this world. Uh, Sea Crimson Dragon. Sometimes what people do goes against what they believe. Isn't that so, Sir Diddle? See, Capella, he is a nice person. Just pretending to be a nice person. Dub, what's the matter? Ba 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 gak gak gak. Monster came to attack. Monster, Nudbears, and Sir Diddle and the monkey there. My name's Capella. Fine, whatever. You guys take care of it. Leaving us here to fight the monster? We should all get out of here. Dub. Well, time for the boss. Much shorter quest than the other one. We haven't heard this boss music in a while either. That's what they're scared of, a normal enemy. I think it's about to get wrecked chat. 
You thought you were gonna catch me with your laser? You think I didn't know? I fought you before. Oh, that reset was so clean. I didn't even see where the bike canceled bike combo. That's how fast that reset was. Holy. Bird, I really need you to not move him out of my combo. I literally could have combo killed him had he not done that. I stunned him though. Like how he's moving while stunned, by the way. What a cheater. Oh my gosh, the cancels were out of control there, chat. Actually, top tier canceling. Got him. <laughs> that was harassment in the corner. For some of those combos, I didn't even see where I paused. That's how fast the cancel was. I was trying to time it so that way I, I didn't have any interruptions, but Chocobo unfortunately kicked a midway through the combo. Hey, look, Diddle, they all ran away. Oh, yeah. See, you were being tricked into this. Uh-huh. But it was fun. Oh, jeez, Diddle. There we go, chat. Oh, jeez. Diddle kidnapped. And... So, we're coming up to one of the final failable quests of the game. That's fun. Don't you love failable quests, chat? And if we fail this, it locks us out of three events. We call that bonus. <laughs> so I don't think this one is too bad. This is this is one I had to retry like once or twice because it's mostly just knowing where the dud bears are. Unfortunately, we got to interact with them again. So essentially the plot of what is about to happen is that they're going to split up a treasure map into eight pieces. I need to find all eight of them in about two minutes. And if I don't do that, uh, I get interrupted and the quest fails. So I need that treasure map to then go places. We're definitely going to save because I don't feel like doing that quest without a save file. Oh yeah, we're making excellent progress, and so we're on number 49, going on 50. So, super good progress. We'll probably play for like another 40 minutes or so, then we might take a small break. So I think we have to go to the Buccaneer for... Yes. chat so wish me luck yeah we gotta be real quick exploring these oh this is not right so we basically just have to input the directions I believe it's north north east should take a see the other quests You'll kind of find these incidentally if you're playing alone. Mm. Should have started. Ain't it great? The salty sea air smells good. Hmm? What's that I see? Captain's calling you. Please come to Captain's cabin. Here, there's a treasure map hidden in the Mekid Caverns. The diggers like those kinds of places. We gotta hurry. I wanna go get the map with the penguins, mate. Yes. Alright. Don't lose a real man.
going ahead. Stay here and make the make a pudding out of that pumpkin there. Treasure map. We we gotta be fast. Wish it gave like an actual timer so I had an understanding of where to go. Or how close we were. Going where we need to go. Fortunately, the battles here should be pretty quick. I believe that's eight encounters. I'll switch it over to the two things that we're not using. Well, good thing we didn't explore earlier, because we're just going to come back this way anyway. What? You dropped the treasure map. Dub. Oh, don't just stand there. Penguins are here. There are arch enemies. Go get it back now. Uh, don't be complaining. Go now. Bonk. Dang it, Tusk. Not gonna take over our, our caves. Find salvation through labor. Okay. Well, that was a good cancel. I like that cancel. Yeah, when you don't see a pause in my combo, like just then, that's how you know I did it super good. Cause I went like this, into this. That's how fast the cancel was. It was two different combos. With the first dub, treasure piece. Ba ba ba. Boo boo. Dub. This is where it gets a little annoying. Read the piece. That's one down. I believe the time limit has now started, so we gotta go back the way we came. I'm not gonna menu in case it's looking at game timer. But we'll just keep what we have for now, sadly. I didn't realize we were gonna do this quest this early. But we're gonna do something else in Geo first. Going back the way we came. This time we're gonna go through here. So fortunately, at least, if it's counting game timer, we kill these enemies pretty quickly now. That's good. <sighs> Whiffing that and missing the cancel, that was brutal. Speaking of brutal, misaligning on the crab, that's also brutal. Should be one in here. Oh, come on. Seriously. Activate. Come on. Catch him. Game, come on. What is this? Catch him. Hello? What is this? Why isn't he- Why isn't he being caught? What is this? What is this nonsense? Hello? Wow. What was that? I couldn't- He wouldn't do anything. Wow. Resetting. That's actually nonsense.
I know, I can't believe a P1 from the Mill Lily. That was really BS. I must have hit it like 60 something times, chat. Like, I don't know. I might save state on this quest. I don't feel bad. I, I remember this being kind of annoying. I don't remember it just refusing to, like, I'm hitting confirm and holding towards him. And I cut him off and he still didn't talk to him. Ridiculous. Yeah, we're, we're going to save state. I don't feel bad. This is a very annoying quest. Because we have to go through, like, all that dialogue again, which is super annoying. Because there's not, like, a cutscene skip. That was such BS. <laughs> so yeah, save the chat having to watch me walk through this every single time. I was hoping we just grab him quickly. I don't know what I did wrong, other than the game just decided that that was improper for some reason. Like, I, it locked me in place like I was trying to talk to him, but then it didn't do anything. So that was pretty nonsense. Not gonna lie. So it's north, north, east. I'm gonna make a save state when we're in the cavern. And then we'll go further from there. I didn't want to do it, but I really don't feel like doing this again. anyway that just seems really really unnecessary of course the only thing that beats me not super bosses not silly one-shot bosses the thing that makes me waste the most time timed quests not a fan i think chat can understand why some of my dislike of time quests exists for, for things like pso i had to play games like this where I just really did not appreciate the nonsense. Uh, so this should be exactly where we were before. It's testing my short-term memory. Well, I guess long-term, since technically I remember that from last time. Now I'm gonna mash through the dialogue. Sadly, that means we have to refight them, which is also kind of annoying. I don't know if it's, like, too much time in one room as well. I don't know what the criteria is. It might just be too much time in one room. So I, I could try to avoid it by just, like, leaving the room and coming back. I don't really know how the timer works for this quest. Interesting the uppercut didn't kill there. Grab this item. Make a save state a little further. So we'll skip like three minutes of retry. I have to come back here and we have to sit through the cutscene each time. So probably about where they go to split the map is where I want to save. the kind of cancel I want to do. This is such a clean loop when you do it correctly. It honestly just looks like I have an infinite if I do it right. It's sort of true. It is kind of like an infinite, depending on how I use it. I right, so we're going to witness this. Right when they go to split up, I'm going to make a save so we don't have to sit through these cutscenes every time. This is a pretty long cutscene. And for chat sanity, at least I will only have to redo from, let's say, this point. We're gonna make a little happy save here. Yeah, it is just like very finicky. It's like you gotta get multiple confirms in a row. 
without him moving, I guess is how you catch them. Even though there's not really another enemy that you have to do that with in the entire game. Weird. Anyway, I have no idea how many encounters we have. I just know when I'm done with the quest, I'll swap it. I'm not going to bother keeping track of that when I potentially have to reset again. Because otherwise I feel like I'm going pretty quick through this area. Fight over. He attack cancelled for me. That was convenient. Okay. Wish me luck, chat. We saw what happened last time. I definitely got cheated. Uh huh. Why can't I move? Whatever, chat, whatever. Whatever. Stupid. Chat witnessed it did not do that last time, no matter how much I was bashing or where I stood. Maybe you can only grab them in certain positions. Maybe there's some weird jank to it. Stupid. Anyway, we're gonna go back to the left. Damn, lightning kick is so useful here. Okay, so we're going back left. I gotta go left one more time and then go to the lower right. Unless I went too far, which might not be a problem. As I said, it might only care when I'm in the room with the monsters. Or the bears, I mean. Might not count anything I do in this area. Well, time to find out if I overshot where I need to go. Okay, good, I did not. I was looking for this area. How does it lock me in place sometimes? Hello? Oh, come on. Don't do this to me. <laughs> right, chat? Like, come on. There we go. I am mashing it, chat. Maybe it's just I'm not mashing it up. There we go. Stupid. Hurry up. Roger, is coming. I'm going to assume this is at least combat number 7, and I only wanted 8 with it, so this actually kind of works out. But I want one more combat just to make sure. We'll switch skills. We should be within 10 or so of the final skill. I've lost track of how many battles we undid. Never mind, we learned Earthquake. Well, that's the best skill in the game, allegedly. This. At least the last that you learned. Rear area attack extreme damage. Hmm. It attacks from behind. I mean, that could be useful. So I think we learned all these skills. How far back does it hit? Oh. And it's all an all stat boost with extreme damage? Chat. Oh, uh, okay. Right, chat? Okay. Mashing it, chat. I'm mashing it. Come on. Come on. Yeah, there we go. The mash is real. The map is complete. 
Get me out of here. Okay, we didn't need the safe state at least. Well done. Now that's a real man of the sea. Here. Ain't much but take this. He didn't... He didn't give us anything. Why, why did he say that if he's not going to give us anything? Um... Oh, hey, Count Visham. Hope you're doing well. How was your stream? Well, champ, believe it or not, we're coming up to another potential failure quest. Mmm. Don't you love those? Okay, we're just gonna make sure every event in the diary has been updated. We're at 50 events, so we could do at least two more. Or I could take a break. Oh no, I'll think about it. I at least want to get this one out of the way. What's the one after this? Uh. I'll think about it. It's another trading minigame one. 15 hours, 11 minutes, I need food and sleep. Uh, you could go for like another 9. You do it, Calvisham. Okay, let's get this one out of the way, and depending on how this goes, we'll either do- we'll either stop on this one or continue. It depends on if this is gonna be like a 20 minute quest or a 40 minute quest, depending on the retries here. Oh, oops. I don't need to go here yet. Navigate the ship. It seems to like a combination of either north, north, east, or south, southwest. We're gonna do south, southwest again. Got enemies on board. What? Wait, what? This is a thing that can happen? I don't think I've ever had this happen before. Ooh, triple hit. Brutal. That's a good hit. I don't think they really deserve the boss music, though. Do, do I have to do that again? This is the destination. Hmm? What's that I see? The captain's calling you. Please come to the captain's cabin. Okay, so it remembered my inputs, at least. Yo, ho, ho. Here we are, the Fig Snow Fields. Remember, there's a rumor there might be some treasure here. You ain't sure about it, are you, Captain? Not about it, mate. Wanna go out there with the penguins? Sure. Alright, show him who's a real man. Ah, uh, we're gonna freeze our beaks to death! Bye now. Ironic, given that they're penguins. Trey, 
This snow be too cold for us penguins. That feels like that shouldn't be true. Can't take this no more. The Nordic snowfield. So, I guess we could just learn new weapon skills. Dude, what do I feel like using? What's the next best weapon that we have? Oh, I forgot we got Gold Spear as well, which is actually pretty good. I mean, I could use the Super Sword. Show off the Silver Crane Axe. It's about the same power level. Yeah, I guess I'll just equip the Axe. Figure this would showcase some new things. So what do we need to learn inevitably? I need to have cheer at 20, so I'm gonna leave that on for now, because I don't think I've cheer that high. Everything else should just be auto unlock. We'll put it on retreat. Range of this. Ooh. Does it, have, does it have uppercut as well? Got overhead slut. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so I kind of like the speed of this weapon, and it's got a lot of range. Like, I could stand outside of range doing stuff like this. And it doesn't keep the shots close to me, which is important. Ooh, I really like one-handed axe. I think I play with that that much when I play through this game. I usually did fist, two-handed sword. And a flood on the bunny attack was scary. Eh, just a little, little blood loss. We'll be fine. Yeah, that's such a clean combo. Slice the choir. Good range, medium damage. Hmm. This doesn't feel right. Did I miss an entrance? I feel like I missed something. Let's go backwards. Single target, multi. attack on the axe. Axe bomb, that's fine. I did it once, I just don't know what button is assigned to, like if it's double forward, left, right, small frontal area, fine. I did it once, that is what I want. How did I do that? Is it quarter circle? Oh, it's quarter circle. That's fine. We're like down left, technically. See how much damage this does. Uh, I don't like that attack that much. I mean, we'll use it if we have to. Winning. Did I make a mistake in where to go? So we were here. Something about this doesn't seem right. I might check him out. I mean, I could continue going in the dungeon, but I feel like I should have been able to turn somewhere else. Ooh. Man, that slice is vicious fast. Oh, that attack reset is so quick. I don't like that. Tornado. That could be fun. See, now that we've used the skills a ton, everything unlocks pretty quickly. 
Lots of AoEs. Do I like Tornado more or less than the other move? I know. Is it just close range? Is it like Spear? Oh, it's like Spear, but it just pushes them away. That's kind of lame. Mm. Rising Sun, sure. <laughs> I mean, look at the rate we're unlocking, though. To give you an idea of how deep in the game we are. We'll do Rising Sun. Oh well, we'll continue for now. <laughs> well, Chad, I think I unlocked a couple of abilities. What do you think? Electronic Yo-Yo, Retribution, Bird of Prey, Salmon Upstream, Cutting Pine. Well, we have a lot to go through. I mean, I kind of want to see what Electric Yo-Yo is. But we'll go through what we have. I need to see the Yo-Yo, I know. I'm like, what pray tell is Electronic Yo-Yo in this circumstance? Rising Sun first, just to get it out of the way. Okay, it's like a close range AoE. That's fine, I might leave that on then. Still getting decent XP from this area. We're gonna use the yo yo next. Oh, I'm being bodied. No, oh, I'm in the infinite. Let me be free. There we go, use retreat. The first time, properly. Oh! I kind of like that. I like that a bit more than the other one, to be honest. Okay, let's get rid of Rising Sun. Go into Birds of Prey. There, you know, for an axe, we're getting a, a really high amount of AoEs. I'm not gonna, like, super complain about. I'm Florentina, class 1 fairy. Erlang, a class 7 fairy, has the fairy treasure. But you won't be able to see fairies of a higher class level without a spell. Want me to, want me to cast a spell, you can see class 2 fairies. Yes. Level two. You have to find the fairy so we'll raise your fairy eye level. Beware of Pieta because she's not so nice at times. Okay, so if we find Pieta, we basically lose, I think. We're gonna save here. Okay, now I think we're good. So there's not another path, this was what I was looking for. For some reason, I thought that was like right in the beginning, but I might have been thinking of jungle. Man, Axe just like hacks through them. Oof, that range. Yeah, see, this this is like the perfect attack distance for me too. Like, I don't need it to be like super long range. It is useful for it to be long range, but like, this is the middle ground that I was kind of hoping for. I've seen that attack before. I, I don't like it. I don't like that attack at all. We're getting rid of that. Anything with like that doesn't hit immediately where I'm casting it is useless. To be honest with you. I'm not gonna bother with that. Plus it does minor damage. That attack reset is disgusting. I mean that actually looked like 100 percent an infinite, and that did not require require anything too crazy. So, dip birds of prey, summon upstream, hits adjacent enemies medium damage. So again, a ton of AoE options, and I love AoE clear, because I feel like you need 
Like, one AoE clear, one stat buffer, and major damage versus bosses. The having, like, a million options for it is good. I'm happy about that. Oh, you can see me. I'm Alvaressa, Class 2 Fairy. I see that Florinta is testing you to see if you can get our treasure. This is interesting. Here, I'll cast a spell on you. Spell level 3. I'm not as a Class 2 Fairy, but she can't let you see Class 4 Fairies. I guess that's a hint for later. I don't think we need to worry about you, so we're not going to talk to you. If you're not a fairy, I don't care. Right, Chad? It's just that simple. Oh, but it powers up. Okay. I was going to say I didn't like it, but if it powers up... Can't say no to that, Chad. Free power up. So we're... Okay, so we'll probably have that and Yo-Yo so far as our main choices. Then we can do Retribution. We still have Cutting Pine to learn. Also, I've definitely lost track of how long we were using those other techniques. We kind of unlocked everything at once. Interesting, the one-handed weapon unlocks everything at 80 instead of 100. So our next unlock is Axe Bomber. A bash 2, evade 2, which we should already get. So we've had retreat for, I'm gonna say at least 8, but we should be good here. I guess I could do two more just in case. Like this is nine. Ooh. Wow, the cancel timing of that is like exactly what I would want on a weapon. Like when you see just the chop chat like this repeatedly, that's me canceling the first hit of the combo into itself. It's so fast. I mean, I'm barely seeing a gap there at all, chat. Can I cancel like that? Sini. No. We were warned about you. Or was it Elnetta? No. Is there another fairy to talk to? with her. Okay, I think that's fine. I think Sylvana is by Pierre, and Elkin is by Malvaresta. Okay, so... Pieta is near Sylvania, Sylvanella, so I'm probably gonna fail that one, because I don't know what Pieta looks like. Pieta will game over us, by the way. Elkin is by Malvaresta. Okay. So we need to hit to level 7, so we made progress, but... Yeah, let's see what Retribution is like. What? How did that hit the other one? Okay, so all the AoEs on Axe are broken. Can we talk about this? That did not look like that should have hit, but it definitely did. Um, okay. Major damage. Okay, we have a boss move potentially here. So with that, we've definitely done 10 retreats and cheers. So I think we're good there. Evade should already be maxed. I could leave cheer on if I'm not sure. I need eventually to make sure I have push. 
at 16. I think we have like 12 push at least. We already have 10 in retreat, so we should be good there. Spin is definitely max. Defensive lunge is good. I don't know if I have tackle. I guess I could put tackle on just in case. I feel like that's an ability I don't often use. Get some items. Try to figure out where this next set of fairies are. Here. Is there another path in this room? No. I'm your hero, what's his name? Thank you, Nate. Well, we're just gonna keep moving around for now. Garden of Icicle Flowers. Interesting. I feel like we might have to come back here later. disaster indeed. Now I just don't know where to go. We hit a dead end with these characters. Do I have to go back? Hmm. <laughs> right chat? Question mark, question mark, question mark. I'm tempted to look up a map of where the fairies are. I know how to walk around here. I just don't know where they are. That's the problem. Damn, that's so fast. Well, on the plus side, we're getting extra XP with the Super Hex, so we'll take this. Is there another path up here that I'm missing? Because the snow area looks kind of samey to me. Like, is it it's harder for me to tell what is an exit and what is actual this background? Hmm. I am confused. That's not a place I could go to. I mean, I could go back and save if I really don't know what to do. Because at least this is progress. We did not find the bad one that will game over us. kind of bad, but damage is good. Not my favorite. We'll probably sub that out at some point. Nate called me Starman. Welcome back, Nate. Hmm. Just not sure where it wants me to go. Like, we're almost there. I think we have to talk to just, like, one more set of fairies and we're good. And then we have to guess which one is the real one and which one is the, the troll. There's one that I think doesn't do anything if we talk to them, so we have, like, a okay chance of guessing correctly. Because unfortunately, they can say who's near who, but if I don't have descriptions of what the characters look like, it's not really all that helpful. When one of them will just game over us. I can see a lot more fairies here, which is a bit concerning. We're gonna go back and save, and then we're gonna come back here. <laughs> I mean... That, that combo went on for years, chat. What a combo. Oh, you took away my super. That's rude. What an actual monster. Was oh, the Choco Buddy doing something? Almost. So we have four fairies we could talk to in that room. Oh. Yeah, just be careful, Nate. You're not allowed to post links here. There's too much spam that we get. Bots love doing the tiny URL nonsense nowadays. Hold 
Boulder Dash. That's the one that I want to get next. Yeah, it's just an Automon thing. I mean, you can ask for permission to post, potentially. Long range extreme damage? Man, is one-headed axe just busted? It has, like, five amazing AoEs, a power-up. Oh boy, chat, I don't know which one we have to talk to. We're definitely gonna save. We have, like, one more we need to speak to. The question is... Which one is the one we want to talk to? Can't talk to you. And talk to you. Hmm. Misia, you look kooky and ooky. I like that. Why don't you take me with you? Oh, she's like a monster. We can interview. Her. If Tilda there. Or what does Tilda do? Level 6. Look for Lakshmi. Class 4 and Class 5 should be by her side. Okay. So we, made, we made progress. We're doing it, Chan. Now is something over here that we could talk to? What is Boulder Dash? Is it just like a long range boulder chunk? And it multi targets? Chat, some weapons are not created equal. How is that fair? I have a full screen AoE max damage. Uh, okay. Um, for Quinn. No, I want to talk to you. It's a secret, but I can still cast a spell on you. You're probably Lakshmi. We're level 7. Look for Urlog. There's only one chance. As soon as you talk to the wrong fairy, you fail our test. Fairies only helped you so that you could see, the f see you fail at the final stage. So, this is kind of nonsense. So if we talk to the wrong fairy, it's over. The quest fails. Why did they make it like this? I don't know. Question mark, question mark, question mark, chat. So you ready for me to guess wrong 50-50 style? Again, they all look similar. They're not wearing, like, different outfits, so it is just kind of RNG. So we know it's not anybody in this room. We know it's not anybody in the anywhere else in the other room. Do I save state to reduce time when I inevitably fail? I the only way they the only place they could be is back here, like near the entrance. I'm pretty sure. But if there's new fairies here, we'll try one of them. I can't believe this hits full screen. Completely ludicrous chat. Axe is so strong. Might be my favorite weapon so far. I like love and all, as the stun combos are real, but this is also really cheesy. This weapon is actually just busted. So without doing any advanced cancels, I have an infinite. Like they, they can't do anything about this. It's so fast, too. I would say I'm surprised they left something like that in the game, but that, that seems about on par, honestly. Alright, so we have three fairies that are all identical, only one will pass the mission. And I'm just gonna save state to not waste your time. We'll say middle one. Congratulations, I'm Erlong. There we go, chat. <laughs> just throw your hands in the air. Thank you for playing along with us. Please, take this! Drop near acquired. Well done. Now that's a real man of the sea. Decided to pirate him up a little. Here, 
It ain't much, but take this. Are you gonna give me? You didn't give me anything again. Why do you keep telling me this and then give me nothing? You're a liar, old man. You're a liar. <laughs> I want my items. Stop telling me I have items that don't give me anything. Wonder if he really was meant to do something or they just accidentally put the dialogue in there. It, it is Enix, so honestly, I would believe almost anything. Yeah, let's take a break here. This other quest looks more annoying than it should be. We'll do something else. I, I'm happy. We got about three and a half solid hours of Legend of Mana. I'm not in a rush to complete the game. We'll be done by next week, pretty much, no matter what. So yeah, we'll be on 52, then I could just do... Like, 9 and 8 and then beat the game? I think I'll split it up that way. We only have one dungeon left. We haven't been to a town still. But at least we get to showcase other weapon types for people looking for those kinds of things. Unfortunately, as I said before, it goes really quick once you've used the abilities tons of times. So I feel like that really is just the rule of thumb. Just swap weapons often as you learn if you don't want to have a guide open for it. Okay, chat. So let's chat a little bit. So, I think from the standpoint, we got through most of the annoying quests. I'm doing a little look ahead. We have a trading quest, which is very mediocre. Then we have... The last little Gilbert quest, or Gilbert quest after that, before we go to the one, which is why we've been looking to... Avoid Geo, because we don't do the other quests, we just miss out on it. And then we finally do Niccolo's Business Unusual all the way to the end. And then finally we wrap up with some of the other alternate quests. That's not a bad thing to look forward to, I guess. But yeah, chat, let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. I guess from that standpoint, I'm happy we got through Tropicalo. That damage was bonkers. The nearly three-quarter screen AoE insta-death that did 90% of our Chocobo's health that had double our health. I don't know what was going on with that fight. That fight seemed really unfair. But anyway, so long YouTube, and hopefully see you in the next part.